if one is traveling west and the sun always seems to be in the same place, does it mean that someone who is flying for 18 hours or maybe even 21 hours wouldn't pray a single prayer for the entire duration of their flight? Okay, so you, you tell me, Nasra, how do we know the prayer times when we're flying? Um, by the position of the sun. Then this answers your question. If a person is flying westbound, this means that he may not see the sun moving except in a very, very slow rate. So if I am to travel in the morning at 10 o'clock, going to Kuala Lumpur from Saudi Arabia, the flight is eight hours plus. I leave at 10 o'clock a.m. I reach there almost eight or nine p.m. So I would find that Dhuhr, Asr, Maghrib, and Isha have all elapsed, maybe even later than that time. And if I'm going back home from the east to the west, I may not pray a single prayer on the plane because I'm pursuing the sun. I'm, I'm after the sun, so the sun is unable to set because I'm flying in the same direction. So it, I would re reach there maybe two, three hours after my takeoff, though it is an eight hour flight. Therefore, I determine the time of the prayer while on the plane through the position of the sun. So in Fajr time, it's very obvious when it's all dark and then I see the white uh, uh, light or line in the horizon in the direction of the east, I know this is Fajr time. So I pray. I don't need to follow any app. I can see it visually. In sunset, the same thing goes in Maghrib because it's daytime and all of a sudden it's becoming darker and darker and I can see the sun setting and boom, it's, it disappears. It's Maghrib time. Dhuhr and Asr might be a little bit tricky because I need to know whether the sun is in the middle of the sky going a little bit to the west, so this is the time of Dhuhr, or a little bit more, this is the time of Asr. Aisha time is also easy when I see the redness at the, the place where the sun had set disappears, this is Aisha time. So Dhuhr and Asr is the time where you have to estimate and if you wait until it is like an hour before sunset and you pray Dhuhr and Asr, that would be uh, a, a, a no problem because Alhamdulillah you can combine. 